for Police Commissioner Morton Howe. It was always business as usual in London, England. He and his team of detectives were quite accustomed to the evils of men with their sins of violence, love for money, and lust. His occupation brought all types, and his precinct handled anything. But in 1841, at age 42, things would turn out to be much different. A gruesome triple murder at a farmhouse in a neighboring borough by some monstrous diabolical beast evokes fear in the people that live there. When a London University professor of science goes missing, a search of his property reveals a laboratory containing a mysterious dark iron cage. A rumor went privately among the detectives that he had been housing a large black wolf. The type of creature a zoologist reported it could be by the mutilating bite marks upon the flesh of recovered livestock. One by one, Commissioner Howe is witness to crime scenes of murder wherein the victims are persons he is secretly tied to as if the bloodthirsty killer is working his way down a list. No one else suspects. He greatly fears that whoever, or whatever, is responsible will be coming for him. An opium addict drowning in the brothels of the night, a violent prisoner released after abusing his wife and child, a turncoat blacksmith who kills for greed, a good family man raising seven children on a farm far from civilization, a police commissioner frantically working the case to protect his life and position, but there's nothing more. and an unknown and unforgiving traveler with a dark secret will all be fatefully led together down a terrifying path of nightmares, retribution, and death. Revenge of the Wolf is a tale of one man's struggle to forgive and to be forgiven when hatred is given unrestrained and unquenchable power.